give them my home number. And, 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 and if they can't get me, say, call his office, call his headquarters. Les will make me get that. Set up five people in your living room. If it's got to be at 10 o'clock at night, I'll go. Because I don't want no one. I want everybody to vote this election. If everybody votes for what they truly believe, honesty, if they truly believe my opponents are the best man, I got no problem on election day. Because I fully believe. We'll, but if they can trick enough people, and look, it's happening. It's happening. But I get 30 or 40 phone calls a night. Now I try to get 10 or 15 people call a night, and this phone is still doing my business. But I'm missing some. I'm missing some, and guess what? They probably don't believe in me. So they're going to get some vote. They're going to get some vote, not for Ben to Amos, but they're going to get some vote because I'm not going to do this, or I did this, or I stabbed my mother, beat up my brother. Uh, let me tell you, it's crazy. I didn't know. You know, they took my driver back and wiped it out. I got a DWI when I was 19 in Lafayette. But I didn't, I didn't get, uh, I had no domestic violence. I wasn't armed robbery. They typed in, and they passed out my driving record, which is illegal. They made up a contract, and they said Billy was subcontract on grass cut, and signed my name. Now, I got to tell you, when the grass cutters asked, they said, listen, you guys do a great job, but this is unorganized. We're going to hire a company to get you organized. And we did, but nobody's going to lose their job. Did you think any of them believed me? No, they all voted. They told me they voted. No shared liability. And you sign no indemnity for the engineering and design. Now, the the construction's a different phase. I mean, it's got to be built you, by the construction. Justice is phase. responsible for those reports of what they say. Okay. And if we use those reports and build a levy to those standards, they have some liability in that levy failing. Right. But they're not responsible for the design. <laughs> They're not responsible for the construction. They wanted a full indemnity. This is what, 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 what um, our lawyer negotiated. Actually, uh, it's been on his desk for two weeks. He had not even finished typing it up. It was all marked up. Yesterday, they typed it up because they'd been back and forth. And he said, it's OK to sign. And I signed it and sent it yesterday. And that's going to give them and use this in your email. And I'll send it to you today, I promise. They say, Billy. Even if we would have had that, we're two to four weeks away, or six weeks, whatever he told me, because I was on my phone, I couldn't hear real good in my car. So I'll put all that email, send it to my office, and then bring it to the East Bank tomorrow. So I'll send you that email. But once they finish, then Burke Klein, I'm not taking Eustace's opinion of what they think we should do. I want Bruce to look at that and say, here's A, B, and C for the short term. because. So we got some areas that have real bad soil. It may be cheaper to sheep pile those areas. No one will come back and pull them out when we do the federal levy in the interim, rather than try to get 12 feet with mats and all this other stuff. I feel a lot better having sheep pile than having a mat in the levy where they say those mats are used to get height for river levees, but not when you got storm surge, that they can fail and slide into the canal. And that would be so when can we expect the full East Bank update? As soon as um, we probably could have a preliminary meeting in the end of October, November on where they are. Mm -hmm. And then the final everything of what our options ought to do will be he says by January 1 that we finished everything, ready to go out for bid. So that means we'll have our three options. As soon as that gets We'll have a meeting, study the three options, have them all there. It might be before then, but it's indefinitely by January 1. That gives them a 30-day bid that time, 30 days to get their equipment in place, and start on March 1st, which has always been my drop-dead date to be ready to go to work. Because we've always backed off that date. Obviously, we have it good to have it a little ahead of time, but we couldn't start work until March 1st. So pushing the 18 million up on it just is smoke and mirrors to make somebody feel good. And listen, you have my word, if anything changes, good or bad, I'm going to tell you. You know, we, we've been together a long time, you know, setbacks, y'all put books together. I wish I had you on my staff. But, you couldn't afford us. <laughs>
but but the really yeah, no, no. it's been a learning it's been a learning curve for me because I'm learning a lot of new things and I'm glad they got term limits because I I'll, I'll be worn out after this four but I can see why Charlotte Randolph does so well because she's been in there 20 years or she's had three times no uh, St. Tammany is 12 years and so Kevin's always had a leg up on everybody knowing the ropes, knowing the things. But the difference between me and I walked in my office and every file was gone. I didn't know about the West Jeff. I got the letter on the, on the floodgate. The West Jeff and the Levin guy saw me on TV, felt sorry Hello. for me, dug through his files and gave me a copy of it. But I can promise you this, when I leave, whoever wins, I will to give them every piece. I want them to do better than me. I got to live here. But we've been set back because I was crippled, but I haven't, and, and old man Mr. Charlie asked me to get a chance. He said, Billy, I was told to keep my mouth shut, and they haul boxes out of here for a week on where they are, and that's illegal. Any questions? My feelings of Mr. Nutgesser are of the absolute essence. He's the best. He's the man that gets the job done. He's the man that does it with honesty and integrity. And if Billy tells it to you, it's true. If he says he will do it, he will do it. And he is truly a man of all seasons. That's why we love and support Billy Nutgesser. Thank you. I'm going to put you on YouTube. Mr. Nungesser's doing. A fabulous job. I think he's doing great. Push together, ladies. Okay, are y'all going to vote for Mr. Nungesser? Positive. Yes, indeed. He's doing a great job. We're so proud of him. Positively. Okay, thank you. And I know he will continue to work to fix the Thank you very much.